With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello, students. I hope you all are doing good. So today our question is like this: the azeotropic mixture of water and HCl boils at one one zero degrees Celsius. When this mixture is simply distilled, it is possible to obtain. Our options are pure HCl, pure water. Pure water as well as HCl, neither HCl nor water in their pure state. So when this, when we do the fractional distillation or simple distillation of this azeotropic mixture, then we have to give. We can obtain a pure HCl or pure water, or neither HCl or nor water. Okay. So these are the option we have. So first of all, we need to know what are azeotropic mixture. So azeotropic mixture are those mixture which show very large deviation from ideality, which show very large. deviation very large deviation from ideality or we can say very large deviation from raoult's law from raoult's law okay so these are the azeotropic mixture so one more definition of azeotropic mixture are these are the mixture of liquid which distill over without changes in the composition they distill over without changing in the composition this is the basic definition of the azeotropic mixture they pass through the distillation process without changing in the composition of the mixture and that's why they called constant boiling mixture or azeotropic mixture okay this is the one more definition of the azeotropic mixture okay now we have question that azeotropic mixture it is possible to separate or we can say it is possible to obtain pure hcl pure water so once an azeotropic composition is reached once the azeotropic composition is reached we cannot separate or we cannot obtain the any of the component in the pure state we cannot obtain any of the component in pure state okay a boiling liquid mixture okay this is a boiling liquid mixture that is water and hcl boils at 110 degrees celsius so this is a boiling liquid mixture at the azeotropic composition at the azeotropic uh, composition produces a vapor of exactly the same composition and uh, as that of in the liquid phase they produces exactly the same composition as that of in the liquid phase and the liquid does not change its composition as it evaporates okay so what i am saying like we have a and b a and b this is the vapor phase okay wait a second guys wait this is the vapor phase this is the vapor phase and this is the liquid phase okay i hope you guys are understanding it this is this statement is saying that when an azeotropic composition is reached or we can say a boiling liquid mixture boils at the azeotropic composition produces vapor of exactly same composition as that of liquid okay and the liquid does not change its composition on evaporation like we have water and hcl as liquid and when there is evaporation of these liquid occurs like we have a and b as the composition of both water and hcl and when they undergoes the evaporation when they boils at 110 degree celsius then they produces vapor then they produces vapor and they produces vapor of exactly same composition as that of in the liquid phase so they produces vapor of exactly same composition that is a and b okay so they have exactly same composition composition that means they have constant composition throughout once an azeotropic composition is reached okay so there is no component richer in the vapor phase than in the liquid phase okay they both component the both component that is water and hcl have same composition in vapor phase and in liquid phase so we can not separate or we can not obtain pure water or pure hcl when uh, through this azeotropic mixture by the simple distillation or fractional distillation okay i hope you guys are understanding it because you can easily see that there is no component richer in quantity there is no component richer in quantity in vapor phase than in liquid phase that is in vapor phase they have composition of a and b in liquid phase they have composition of a and b that means this liquid phase this liquid does not change its composition on evaporating this liquid does not change its composition as it evaporates okay i hope you guys are understanding it so there is 
exactly same composition in the vapor phase i hope you guys are understanding there is exactly same composition in the vapor phase or we can say they produces exactly same composition to that of liquid like we have liquid of a and b composition a and b composition then this liquid mixture produces the vapor of exactly same composition that is a and b so we cannot separate these component we cannot separate these uh, we cannot separate these pure separate these in pure form like we cannot separate pure water or pure pure hcl because their composition is constant throughout their composition is constant throughout in liquid phase or in vapor phase there is no component richer in quantity in vapor phase than in liquid phase so we cannot separate or we cannot obtain pure water or pure hcl if we have a azeotropic mixture once an azeotropic composition is reached by the simple distillation so our option fourth will be the correct option that we cannot separate neither hcl neither water in the pure states okay thank you guys so this is a very basic rememberable question you have to remember these points okay i hope you guys understand it thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and after today